Bam. Oh, wow. Jesus, that was fast. Holy shit. So, um, for the Minecraft stuff, I think we will be doing, um, Minecraft Mondays. So, I'll be streaming Minecraft Monday. So, tomorrow. And I think we're just going to rip Call of Duty for today. But we will be doing Minecraft on Mondays from now on. And then I'll also be making it into a video just in case you miss it or anyone misses it. So, here's to that. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, and it is still double XP, which is kind of cool. So, take advantage of that. Ooh. <sighs> so, how have you been? Ugh. Yeah, dude, you just joined straight away. Holy shit. <laughs> It's crazy. Uh, why? Dude, this thing changes every so often. Pretty good. That's good. Like, my RAM. I There's, like, four different programs trying to control the lighting on it. But, like, they all just fight with each other on who, who's controlling the lighting. And I'm pretty good. It's been a... Interesting day so far. Had to work at two. Actually, wait one sec. I gotta change. Ah, uh, there we go. Had to work today at two, which was a weird time to have a game, but it was fun. It's not like super late, which was nice. I don't like this map because it's fucking massive. Holy shite. Map is massive for a 6v6 game mode. We control Charlie. Do, 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 do. I can hear someone running around. Ah! Dude, I swear I open up my minimap way too often. It's not good. Are we losing A? Oh. Hello. Did not mean to throw that down. Holy shit. Ugh. We're taking Charlie. Ugh. You shouldn't have got taken that grenade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then for another game I was thinking of playing, eventually, once we hit 300 subs, once we hit 300 subs, I was thinking about buying a game. It's called High on Life. So, High on Life, it's like this, you're like a person, and you're like, or in like an alien world, and it's just really kind of goofy, and it's made by the people who made Rick and Morty. It's actually kind of sick. 
So I was thinking live stream that soon, but it's it's like 60 bucks. So probably for uh, 300 subs, we'll, we'll pick that up and start streaming that. I'm thinking. What? John Fisher. That was a... Uh... Damn. <sighs> like, dude, this map is huge. Oh, why did I spawn if they were on our flag? Oh, what the hell? What the fuck was that? Oh, it was one of those cluster mine thingies, like the score streaks. Stop knife. Where's there was a fucking nah. do 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 Securing objective bravo. You know, dude. I have I never know what the fuck to talk about. Like, I feel like... There's so much I could talk about, but I just don't know what would be interesting. Fuck. That's crazy. Oh boy. All of it? I mean, I guess I could talk about all of it. Like, oh my goodness, the dogs. The dogs are going crazy. Enemies taking Charlie. You know, here, so many people, but I don't know where any of them are. The dogs are going nuts. Oh my god, my aim was awful. Um. Hmm. Well, we've had a lot of rain lately, which has been kind of crazy, like, and I don't know if you guys have had a lot of rain, but, like, at our house, we've had a crazy amount of rain, and, like, our basement is, like, really bad. Like, my room down here was fine, like, all the, like, the, there was no water or anything at it, like, in it or anything, which is nice. But the thing was, like, our, our other basement was, like, really, really bad. And there was, like, water going everywhere, and it was crazy. And, like, I was like, oh, okay, so, like, our house flooded a bit. But then I was like, oh, I wonder, like, what other places look like. And then I saw, like, people who lived, like, on the river. Like, their houses were just like, oh, my God. It was awful. It just... So much rain and so that's how we started the day because i was looking for suitcases and so i went to the basement to find our suitcases so i went and grabbed them and so i was like yeah i know let's just grab these suitcases and i was like oh shit the basement it's flooded well then that's not good and then my nephew was over and they had brought their dog over and their dog's name is Honey. They're a golden retriever. And they were like, and we, I was just chilling upstairs after I was like, yo, dad, the basement's leaking. So he's dealing with that downstairs. And all I hear my nephew go is, Honey's in the pool. And I'm like, uh, why is she in the pool? May I ask? And the dog had just decided to jump in the pool. So the dog jumps in the pool. So I'm thinking, well, goddamn, she is going to die if something doesn't happen. So I'm in Crocs and pajamas and no t-shirt. And I'm like, well, shit, I guess I got to go run and grab this fucking dog out of the pool. So I am running from our house to our pool. 
and I my oh uh, I just got hey that was weird like I just got that was an interesting thing um yeah so this dog is just in the pool and I'm like well shit so I just run out my crocs come flying off and bah, bah. oh my god I don't know how I lived through that that was crazy um but yeah no my crocs come flying off i'm running after this dog well not after but to our pool to try and get her get this dog and so i get to our pool and i grip the dog out of the pool like just so she'll be fine holy shit i like this gun i want to try and get this gun whatever this one is oh my god give me that beetle baby go i gotta figure out what gun this one is that's a nice gun um, yeah, so I go run grab this dog out of the fucking pool. Can I get that? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, further on the care package, then we press three for a UAV. And so, yeah, now I can talk. So the dog, run, grab, pull the dog out. The dog's... And the second I pull the dog out, as soon as I pull Honey out... What do we get? Another VTOL? Hello? Thank you? Oh no, it's a UAV. Oh, that's depressing. And so, oh, we lost. That's great. I just get to use all my score streaks and they all leave. So grab the dog, rip it out of the pool. Finally, I get to say this. Rip the dog out of the pool and then she just shakes all of this water and then I just get absolutely soaked and I'm like, Are you shitting me? So I get the dog inside. Finally. So that was a very interesting day and this all happened within like an hour. So, like, there was just so much shit going on. But the dog was fine, thankfully. Oh, that was, that was like the other day, so. What gun was I using there? Uh, uh, I think it was this one, the Battle Pass one. I'm not sure, but like the dog, like, oh my God, that was so scary. But yeah, like the, it was just an interesting day. And then what else? What other crazy shite? Um, we have, I don't know. What other crazy shit has been going on? Um, I know work is crazy. Like the last two playoff games, they have completely sold out, like the arena. So it's like crazy. So it's just like ten thousand people in this arena. So it's pretty cool. Uh, what else is there? I don't know. Are we playing on this damn border map? God damn it. Get me out of here. I don't want to play on that shit. Mm, we got one token here. Is that the gun? Iso Hemlock? Hell yeah, I want to unlock that thing. Uh. And OT today. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, like, the OT was crazy, too. And then the W. It was nice to win. I kind of got nervous there at the start, but the W today was really nice, yeah. And OT, yeah. OT was crazy, dude. I always like OT, though. It's always suspenseful. And then, not too long ago, we had the, uh, had a sh uh, sh penalty shot, which was kind of sick. Um, then, yeah, I know. Hockey has always been kind of always crazy. But always kind of crazy fun. Holy shit, look at this guy. Shredder? What the fuck is the dude from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles doing in Call of Duty? Like, the guy from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's kind of dope. Look at this guy. Claus? Santa Claus? Huh. Are there any crazy things in here? 
Dude, dude, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that they're making honestly looks kind of sick. Like, oh, damn. Why is this so out of focus? Like, the new Teenage Mutant, they're making a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Like, but the thing is, they're actually using, like, actual teenagers to voice them, not, like, 30-year-old people. Can you focus, please? Thank you. Hello? It's kind of blurry, but oh well. Um, yeah, dude. Like, they're using actual teenagers, and it actually looks fucking dope as hell. Like, it looks so sick. And, like, they're actually, like, using teenagers, like, teenage actors. So it's, like, actually, they actually, like, goofing around. And it's honestly so sick. Because, like, before, it's been, like, oh, they're just teenagers. But, no, they're full-grown, like, steroided-ass men. No. But, yeah, they're still, like, they're still the turtles. But, like, they're actual just, like, teenagers, not just straight-up full-grown adults. Oh, hello. I see him. Whoa. No, oh my god, they're all over the damn hard point. You know what word good? The Molotov. No. Yeah, it honestly looks super sick. Yeah, see, he's got it too. I want to try that gun. Let's just go rock the M4. Why not? Optic. Barrel. Mm -hmm. Get a better stock. All right, fuck it, we ball. Oh, I guess we're rocking the sniper for right now. Trophy. Where is this part point? Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Just gonna throw the Molotov straight in the air. See where that gets us? Probably nowhere. What's my favorite gun? Like, in-game, I honestly have not played this Call of Duty enough to really have a favorite gun, I guess. But, I don't know. If I had to pick a certain gun, I'd probably just pick the coolest gun that I've seen. Like, there's a really cool SMG in this game that I know. It's like, it doesn't have like a magazine under it. It's got like a magazine on the top, like you reload it up off the top. Like, like the old, PD, it's like a PDW. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like the magazines on the top is kind of cool. I don't really know how to explain it, but it looks kind of cool. Like there's that, but like, if I were to have picked like the hurricane. Oh, so you actually know like, what the names and shit are yeah so it might be the hurricane that'd be kind of that's a dope ass name let's go get the bouncy petty kill yeah i think it might be the hurricane let's check uh battle rifles smgs yeah the hurricane damn all right i saw you Oh my god, I don't know how I got through that. But yeah, no, that's kind of sick. I've never seen, like, a gun like that before. So, that's kind of sick. Um. Hmm. Oh, this would bounce your But. Hmm. I don't know uh but like favorite gun of all time out of like any like first person shooter game mm, excluding like zombies or anything so like no like ray guns or anything um i was like the ksg like the slug shotguns that like you could like shoot they were like sniper shotguns like the really really long range shotguns those were always super cool because like I don't know you could just like shoot people really long range with them 
And they're always just so satisfying to kill someone with. It was like sniping, but like, not really. I don't know. No. Oh. Or I always liked the um, the PDW or the Weevil. It was called in Black Ops Three, the Weevil or the PDW, where you would take the magazine out from the side. Or I always liked the Tommy gun. That was always kind of a sick gun. Because I always remember playing zombies and playing on Mob of the Dead. And getting... Playing Mob of the Dead and getting the Tommy gun. Just the just the huge barrel was kind of sick. No, oh, see you later, Beetle. Just the huge, yeah, just drum mag was honestly kind of sick. Or the striker was really cool. I always liked the striker because it was just a shotgun, but with like a hundred bullet, like 40 to 50 bullets. It was crazy. Oh, like it just had an absurd, the ISO hemlock. That seems like it. Like, the one thing I don't like about this game is that you have to like unlock a gun, then get that gun to like level seven and then get this other gun to unlock a gun. Why can't we just be done by levels? Like, that's what I want. Because like... I'm like level 40 and I only have four types of each gun unlocked. But. Oh well. I know. Yeah, like I don't want to have to go on a fucking wild goose chase to unlock a gun that I want to try. Oh lord. Oh. Somehow survived that. Thank god. How I survived? I have no idea. Gotta try and get two more headshots with assault rifles here. Let's try and get that going. There we go, there's one, there's, only need one more. Then it's not good. Yeah, it's kind of annoying to have to do that. Yes, I got that last headshot, let's go. Run! Dolphin dive! No! Ooh, shit. I don't- I also don't like that they brought Last Stand back. Like, what's the point of bringing Last Stand back? No, I threw my mine at the wrong time! Why did I spawn there? We are getting our fucking shit wiped. Hello? Is that dude still here? Where? Hello? Nope, he's gone. Oh yeah, no, we are getting our shit. Yeah, he gets a chopper gunner with some fucking one point left. That's unfortunate for him, though. Mission failed. Return to base. Hmm. 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 So, are you like working or doing anything? What are What are you normally up to on your average day, there, Jagger? What do you do? <laughs> also, I like how. I've changed it to low latency, so it's like more quicker. More quicker, like when I talk, it's like almost like three seconds behind where the stream is, which is kind of perfect. The Lockman. It's 
a little. Marked in the battle pass. So let's go. We gotta get to this one. But we don't have any battle pass tokens yet. Hmm. Nothing right now, no? Hmm. Ah, oh, this fucking map. I'll play it, whatever. Hmm. But I am going to work at a factory? Oh, damn. What are you doing there? Like, what are you building? Or making? <laughs> That's kind of sick. You don't know? Hmm. Interesting. It's a factory for hire, so they'll do everything. Oh, so they just got the machines. They have the machines and they'll just do whatever. That's that's cool. Is it like a metal factory? Like where you do like metal and shit? Cause I know you did some of that stuff before. Like metal working or is it just like a factory factory? I think. Hmm. That'd be kind of dope. You can do a lot of shit with metal. What the fuck are you doing on the ground there, you little bugger? Ooh, see you later. Good night, Jim Kite. What the hell? Oh, I got a bouncing Betty kill? No way. Oh shit, sorry. I think I killed took his assassination kill. I do not think he is happy with me. Let's just see what the whole lobby is. He is probably extremely pissed. Oh well. I just see somebody, I'm gonna shoot him, I'm sorry. Dan, 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 dan. Oh, it's weird, because like it says that I have two viewers, but like... Like there's two different screens that I see when I stream. From YouTube. Like it says that I have two viewers on like the top part but then on a different part it says i only have one and i don't know who to believe or which one to believe but i think it's only one oh it's kind of hot i love the deagle got that bad boy to level three. Oh, hello there sir Oh. You might be the second viewer? I don't know if that counts, if I am. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, I think the bottom one's right saying one, because, like, I don't know. It always, always says, like, the, the true stuff. Oh, shit, I accidentally picked up a knife. I did not know what I walked in on. Can we take a goddamn objective, please? See you later. Hmm. It's a bird. It's a bird. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit, I'm blind. Oh lord. Oh, are you shitting me? Enemy taking alpha. Enemy securing 
Mm. Yeah, honestly, I have no idea, man. We've lost Alpha. So I can take B, I guess. Get down my bouncing buddy. Excuse me, sir. How did you not set off my bouncing buddy? Hmm. 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 Oh, I can hear someone running away. Bitch. Got your ass. Ooh. The enemy controls two objectives. Securing objective alpha. Holy shit. This is the type of gun that if you hit somebody with, it just takes a chunk of the, out of them. See you later. Just, just fires an absolute cannon at someone. Get Bravo. Like, I don't know where I heard this, but there was this, um, this gun that was made. I don't remember what it was called or what the purpose of it was for, but it was a home defense weapon or something. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but it was like a medieval cannon. And so what it would do like the way that they told the story was that there was like someone breaking into your house or whatever and they like explained it <sighs> like oh there we go can i pop off oh shit dude i don't like how they put fucking fuse charges in this game like you just you could just throw it on a wall and just fire a grenade and across the room but this thing would shoot cannonballs at people and like, if you just got hit by it, you would just turn into straight paste and there would be just a hole straight through your stomach. How those shots did not hit him, I am absolutely baffled. And he is using a shotgun. Excuse me. What? Oh well. But, that's crazy, like, ah. Uh, Turn someone into a paste. This cannon. Imagine breaking. Yeah, like just imagine you're like walking to someone's house and you just see a cannon mounted. Just you're screwed. Like, why is there a fucking fuse charge in this game? Like, that's not fair. He just goes yeet, throws that shit, and then just runs away and gets a kill. Like, motherfucker. It's a fucking fuse charge. That's so annoying. Yes, uh, I might have to switch from my bouncing buddy to that thing. Because that thing looks kind of reeking sick. Freaking sick, man. Damn. Alright, let's, let's change into that. Like, what else would just... If you were, like, to break into someone's house. Not saying that you guys should break into someone's house. But, like, what would just make you go, like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, if you're in the States, you do that because, like, people have guns and shit. Like, that's normal. But, like, in Canada, like, maybe if you see, like, someone with, like, a bunch of hunting shit. Like, then you might be like, oh, shit, this person's got a gun. But, like, they're not, like, allowed to use that in Canada. Or home defense. So, like, there's that, but, like. Or, like, deer head on the wall? Yeah, like, something like that would be kind of, like, scary. Oh, here's a story. Here's a story for you. Alright, let's see. So, we were driving from Florida. We were driving home from Florida. And we had just gotten to wherever we were trying to get to. It was a hotel really, really far away. And... Oh, this is a semi-automatic thing. So we were just we just got to where we were trying to get to. It was really late at night. It was like five in the morning. I was like twelve years old, so it was a while ago. And so we get there, we show up to the hotel super late. Everyone's tired. So I'm dead asleep. So we get there. You gotta see watch. Yeet, never mind. We get there. Of course, they have a trap here. We get there, 
We get into our room. I want to get into the room because I'm tired as shit. So, we get there. I keep just repeating the same line over and over again. We get there. I just punch in the key and I just run and jump on the bed. And then, so I'm just in bed. And then this comes from my dad's perspective, the rest of this. And so, what he told me what happened was I had ran in and jumped in the bed. And they had walked in and they had wondered, hmm, why is there towels on the, um, why is there towels on the ground? And so it turns out that these people, there was actually people in there, in this room, but like we had just like, they'd given us a key to a room where somebody already was. So we walked into someone else's room and I was in bed. Like I just laid down and got in like this bed with someone. Just a random person. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, it was like, it was crazy. Cause like we were in like, I don't know if we were just leaving Florida or like we were in some like country where, or we were in the States, but we were in like a part of the States where it was like very common to have guns. Like, like Florida or like Texas or something, but I know we weren't in Texas, but it was just scary. Cause like I could have died, like, but it wouldn't have even been my fault. Like how you don't go to a hotel room and just expect there to be people there. Hmm. Like that shit was. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, get the lock on to level 12. Let's do that. I think I have the lock on unlock. Never mind. No, I don't. Get the lock on 772. Where is that gun? Oh, it's a battle rifle. Motherfucker. I want to get that thing to a high. Okay, whatever. We'll get this guy to a higher level. Hmm. Let's just rock this site. Why not? Ooh, I like this map. I like this map. It's a good one. <sighs> hmm. Wonder what else. Hmm. So, future future streams, we we got the Minecraft series plan. So, it will be on Mondays. Oh, nice. And so we're gonna do Mondays Minecraft, and then I'm tr gonna try and try and hopefully make like some sort of schedule. So there'll be some consistency, not just random. But I will try and stream as much as possible. So, but we're gonna do a modded kind of Minecraft card called RL Craft. I've made some videos about it on the past. I think you might have seen them before, but we'll be doing that and then I'll stream it, make it into a video. So there's gonna be that. Um, then eventually, hopefully, we can get to 300 subs and I'll buy high on life so that'll be kind of dope so then we'll have another game yeah I have yeah but it's it's kind of fun so oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit fuck and then might try and make some plans with um maybe Trevor you know Trevor and then we'll play maybe a couple of games with him or Colton because I know Colton streams as well so maybe I used to play a bunch of Overwatch with them, and I would stream too. But Colton would start to scream and get really, really mad and scream racial slurs, which was not really good because I don't want to be having that. But it's fine. Like, Colton got banned for like a week from Overwatch. Oh my god, what the hell? I just turned to ash. Damn. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I want to do just a bunch of fun stuff. And then I was thinking eventually... There's like a setting that I can put on the streams where it's like, um, I can do like a spinny wheel. And like, maybe instead of every time I get like a like or a sub, I chug water, I like, like or a sub, I have to do a spin on the spin wheel. And so like on the spin wheel, it would be like, oh, chug water, do this, do that. Can I hit my shot, please? Thank you, teammate, for coming in clutch there. Yeet. Eat the fuse charge. Oh, I got a hit marker. Damn. Yeah, so I was thinking, like, the spinny wheel would be kind of sick. Like, I wonder, like, I'm trying to, I was trying to think of, like, different things that I could put on the spinny wheel. But I'm not really sure what else I could put on there, because, I don't know, like, there's so much stuff, like, um, honestly, there's, like, I don't know what other kind of goofy, funny shit I could do. Hmm. I don't know. I'll just, I guess I'll just have to try and think of like different things to do. But if like you have any ideas or anything you think that would be good, that I would, I could probably put. Or like, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of new ideas, like just different stuff to like try and make this shit interesting. <laughs> Because I know just watching me get shit on playing Call of Duty and just talking isn't always the most interesting shit in the world. But I don't know. I just want to think of shit that will be fun and fun to, like, make and do. Because, like, I don't know. I think it would be fun. But I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Like, I don't know what else I could think of. Mm. But, like, I've been trying to make, like, some shorts and stuff. I don't know. But, like, that battle pass gun is so nice. I want it. I think that was it. Yeet! Be do be do ba do ba dee be do ba do. Ask the shorts. Yeah, definitely. That honestly, that's a good idea. Maybe I should make. I could make like a shorts asking. But like that's that's solely dependent on like people, people actually watching the short and commenting something. But I think that might work. Then I was also thinking of taking my shorts that I make and painting, like posting them to TikTok as well, because it's like the same thing. So might as well. Oh, of course they got an advanced UAV. Damn. You're getting fucking shit on. Oh, well. But I think it might be working. Might work. No reason not to. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Always try some new stuff. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Hmm. I'm like, I feel like it could be like different stuff for like different things as well. How do they shit on you every game? I don't know. Because skilled based matchmaking just does not like me, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm See this is why I want to play Minecraft because I won't be made fun of because I'm dog shit because <laughs> I'm bad at the video game but it's I feel like it's also because like I am fucking level really low level and I don't have like a lot of shit but oh well But 
Oh well. Ugh. I'm. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh well. Shit happens. I mean, I have my moments. I have my moments, definitely. But. We will see. Dooby dooby doo ba doo ba dee be doo. Apparently, they're supposed to be making some um, more Phineas and Ferb. Uh, episodes, which is honestly kind of sick. What was your, like, go-to show when you were a kid? What was your go-to kid's favorite kid's show? Or, like, favorite, like, cartoon show when you were younger? Because, like, for me, honestly, I really enjoyed Johnny Depp. Okay. Like, I always really enjoyed Johnny Depp. Johnny tests and Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, I was always a big Johnny Test guy. I always loved that show. They are throwing everything at me. I've been... Like... I don't know, I was always a big Johnny Test guy. I always loved that show. There was... What else was there? Um... Uh, honestly, I more or less just watch shows with my dad. Like, all the dad shows, like, Gold Rush, um, Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars I watched a lot of. But, what else? What are there, like, dad shows are there? Like, Pawn Stars. There was always, there was that, there was a Jade one where they mined Jade. They did a lot of, my dad really liked that. Or, The Curse of Oak Island, dude. That shit? was like my dad's favorite but like they never found anything ever like they just carry they're still going trying to find this shit and they haven't found anything in like 30 years and the show is still going <sighs> but oh well whatever whatever makes money i guess Like, the Curse of Oka, I never... I mean, yeah, the first episodes were cool when they actually, like, found some stuff, but now that... What the fuck are you doing there? You already captured the point. Leave. Get off the ground. Ugh. We're taking Charlie. Hmm. Okay, that's also something that I do not like in this game. If you you can't stop your reload, which is really weird. Like if I no switch back to it, I have to finish that reload animation. I don't know why they did that, but they did. No idea why. But... Also, I never put that shit down. It's just I just. I feel like it's not worth it at all. Oh, cool. Taking a bath. Bum, 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 bum. It's a splish splash. I was taking a bath. Bum, bum, bum. Yay, we leveled the gun up once. Now I gotta level it up five more times to try and get the gun that I want. Motherfucker. Whoa! Fucking dude came out of nowhere. Hmm. We control Charlie. Guess we can try and take B. Actually, no. Enemies taking Charlie. Motherfuckers. Dude, it's me. Objective Charlie is compromised. Okay, now now let's try and get B. Requested air strike at this location. Eat. Friendly cruise missile approaching target. Oh 
shit. You got two of us? Let's throw that stock on. Laser? No stock. What does this shit do? Aim down to recoil control? Yeah, I need this shit. The enemy Suck. Get off the Trolling the recoil. Where are you, sir? No, I was one. Ugh. I'm loving it. Bouncer, actually, throw the bouncer. Throw the. I don't. Like, what other dumb shit did I do growing up? Honestly, I didn't do a lot of dumb shit growing up, but I don't know. Motherfuckers. Knob cheese. That's an interesting name. I don't know, I feel like I probably did a lot of dumb shit, like a lot of hockey tournaments I did a lot of dumb shit at. Like, hockey tournaments were always the best because you could just dick around so much. Like you were at like a hotel. That was always my favorite thing was going to a hotel and just fucking dicking around. And, like playing mini sticks in like the halls and shit. Like that was always my favorite. But then they were like starting to like ban it and stuff, and then I was like, why? Why would you not want a bunch of eight year olds playing mini sticks in the hotel lobby? But like, I understand because, like, yeah, now, but back then I didn't. But one thing I do was like, last year we had a robotics tournament, and we shared the hotel with two other teams it was so it was us beal and oakridge oakridge is a very smart school like they are very smart there so their whole all their whole team was all doing their homework and doing like all their like they were being good they were just chilling in their rooms doing homework then our team was just chilling playing video games just dumb shit like that and then the Beal team we had just came back from our dinner dinner as a team and i was like oh damn i smell a shit ton of weed why i look up and there's and there's the Beal like hallway and there's like two Beal kids taking tokes outside of the fucking balcony their balcony and i was like what the fuck are you guys doing and then they're waving to us and shit. Our teachers are like, what are you guys doing? What are they doing? Yeah, so that was interesting. And then Janes and Dawson were drinking with the Oak Ridge, the Oak Ridge volunteers and shit, which was funny because I had never seen them do anything like that. It was like, oh, the teachers can actually be themselves and not they're not technically working. So they were just doing whatever, which was super funny. Oh. That was me. Yeah, dude, I remember hearing stories of you and your dad taking folks off balconies. But honestly, your dad was my favorite when it came to ho hockey. Your dad would not give a flying fuck. Like, when he pushed that old dude down, like, the, like, mini set of stairs because he kept bugging Alex, it was amazing. Like, no other parent would have done that. But your dad just stepped up to the plate. No other no other coach that I know got bench minors like your dad did. Oh. We're taking Charlie. It was awesome, yeah. No, I loved your dad. He was the best when it came to hockey. I didn't even get to. Damn. Ugh. Oh. Oh. 
he got off the bench. Yeah, like he got <laughs> like just the shit that he would do is just the best. Oh my god, out of the five people that I saw there, I killed one of them. Interesting. Alright. Get some more water going here. Ugh. Haven't had anyone new join the stream. This is sort of depressing. Oh well, it's like 8. It's kind of late. Ugh. Oh well. Let's keep dicking around, keep trying to level up this one gun so I can unlock another gun, which then lets me unlock the other gun. So, I'm just gonna stay here, do my shit, have fun. Oh shit. What else, like, do you remember? Because one time, I remember I was. I was at high school, so I was at LDSS. It was like the first w month of us being at LDSS, right? So we, had, I w everyone was still getting to know like all the different people that came from different schools. And I remember walking down the hall, and I just saw this. It was like the I was walking from like tenants geography room to like the boys' bathroom upstairs, and. I remember, well, I didn't know at the time, but it was Kayla Reimer, like, fucking just tweaking. Just having, like, a spasm. And I was like, are you good? And then I remember, like, the only person that I knew, like, around that hallway, I was like, Miss Cowdery, um, some chick is just having a fucking seizure beside the bathroom. Can, is there something that we can do about this? And then they had to call the ambulance. And then, so there was that. And then it happened to Angel Ledgely, like in grade 12, which was kind of fucked, but to each their own, man. Oh, do you, do you remember when Isaiah got high for the first time? What drugs were they on? I have no idea, but that was some whack shit. I remember when Isaiah got stoned for the first time. I remember how much shit that kid got in like but like he got so high but like remember those huge ass sandwiches that you could get from you could get from the uh like shop no foodland foodland you could get those massive mega sandwiches from foodland for like eight or seven dollars <laughs> and I remember I had never seen Isaiah eat so much food before in my life and he ate the whole thing. He just fucking mocked the whole thing. The guy was just absolutely toasted. But the thing was the biggest mistake that he had made was going to Miss Ashby's class after like Miss Ashby would like totally say something. Okay, what attachment did we unlock? Okay, it's not gonna say. But like Miss Ashby is like probably the hardest out of all the teachers. But like this year I have two brand new teachers so they kind of like they're like kind of like nice so they're like they're like younger because oh, Mr. Middleton retired so we I have a new physics and chemistry teacher and there's that so they're kind of new Schmidt my physics teacher is amazing but my poor chemistry teacher she's younger and she has probably the worst class i have ever like heard i don't know like the names of the kids but i just know the kids are bad kids because i just know them right and their class average is a 27 because no one hands in any work the class average is a 27 like that was bad and it was like it's a grade 10 class too so it's like, if they're this bad at grade 10, fuck, what's going to happen when they get older? Right here, baby. This is where it's at, right here. Then, I don't know if you were at prom, but 
the, they did the awards and they gave best dressed to um caitlin i don't know if you know who caitlin was but that was the chick who would wear like elf ears and like like the elf the elf ears and like witch hat and shit they gave best dress to her which kind of was funny oh fuck yeah they gave her best dress which was like a little funky but you know what to each their own i mean it was kind of honestly funny yeah, that was funny. You mm, okay, I'm gonna stop swan, but oh, this fucking full auto thing sucks. I just wanna lock the damn gun. Oh shit, okay, yeah, let's just put it on full auto and then just melt people. Let's go. But like, I don't know, that was crazy, man. But like, the way they did the awards was kind of funky. It was just weird, like, they had awards like Rack Attack and like, Rear of the Year. I mean, for Rack Attack, I did Ryan Parsons and Trevor. And when I had told Trevor that I put him for, uh, um, Rack Attack, him and Ryan were laughing their asses off. It was, it was, I, we, it was just funny. Like, honestly, I just made it a joke, but like, people wouldn't take it seriously. Oh. This dude's got his mom on the game. But like, that shit was, it was interesting. Oh, then my favorite thing was. Mitch and Sarah had won best couple or like cutest couple. Then they broke up a week after you didn't go. Yeah, it was it was it was really weird. But Mitch and Sarah won cutest couple, then broke up a week later, which was <laughs> that was kind of funny. So there's that. Um, what other? Oh yeah, then there was the um the after party. I just got shit faced and then Courtney's dad pulls up and he had to have like 20 like 40 boxes of pizza and I remember I just sat by Courtney's dad and just ate pizza with him I was just mucking this pizza and it was like Domino's pizza and I was like I don't really like shit on my pizza like like but they had gotten like all like the crazy ass pizza and everyone eating like all like the plain like cheese and pepperoni and shit. So I was like, all right, fuck it. And I just started eating like all the other kinds. Cause I was like, I'm so hungry and just so shit faced. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, honestly, or Jack Wilsey's dad. When we showed up to prom, like the after party um Wilsey's dad was like checking everyone in like letting them in and everything and he didn't recognize me even though he was coaching my hockey team he goes wait who's this kid and Jack goes do you literally coach him at our hockey practices and he goes wait is that Kip and I was like yeah and he goes damn but like uh he's great Or, my favorite was Gavin's grandparents. I don't know if you ever, but ever got to play with Gavin, but his grandparents would always come to all of his games and they would like, his grandparents were the best. They were funny. His, his grandma and Sarah got completely wine shit faced at our one tournament. They just got mangled. And I remember this is when we were young, so like, he was like kind of new to us so we were like oh damn and then sarah and gavin's grandma out of everyone are just doing just smashing a whole bottle of wine oh yeah throw that drill charge no the fucking trophy oh 
Oh, what else was there? Like... There was one tournament where the hotel we were staying at had an arcade in it. It had the arcade. And I just... Re oh, let's go! I got the... Fuse charge that's kill. It, that's it. Oh yeah, Swan. That's it, baby. Get her going. And there was a fucking... There was an arcade in it. And I just remember the whole... Th yeah, you were on that team. I remember. Because remember, we played Wall... It was the Wallaceburg tournament. And remember, we had like five kids in the box. You hurt your ankle and you were on the bench. And you hurt your ankle and you were on the bench. We had like five kids in the box. I remember that. That was a fun tournament. Then... Oh... <laughs> uh, all right there we go there we go getting a little better let's do it so we leveled this weapon up a bit and we probably hopefully a couple more games till we can ready to use a different gun finally indeed w Oh. So, we upgrade this, we get this one to a higher level, and then we unlock this one to level 13. No, once we get the other one to level 13, we unlock this one. Which will then lets us get the MP5, and then if we get to level 16, we also get this one. There we go, we're eventually gonna get there. Be track. Like, I don't understand like how you unlock shit in this game it's crazy but oh well i want to get the new battle pass code so we're grinding to get that the double xp chilling you know hockey was always fun um what other tournaments did i participate in as a kid like there was hockey tournaments um i did karate growing up and Karate growing up was interesting, like... Like, I was, I, was, I was decent at it, but like, I was never that good when I was little. I remember, I remember being like, I was like 10, so I was super young. And... There was... I made it to the finals. Made it to the finals of this karate tournament. And it was for fighting. So, like, the fighting aspect of it. Because there was two parts. There was, like... Like, it was almost like a dance. There was, like, these, like, sets of moves that you would do. And it would, like... They were, like... I don't know. But it was for fighting. And so... I had gotten this... I had gotten to the semifinal Or the finals. So, and I remember I was like, oh yeah, I got this in the bag. Like, let's go. Honestly, going to be an easy dub. And so this kid only, so the way that it karate worked was if you like a punch to the body was like two points or whatever. And then a kick was two points. So obviously a kick was worth more. So you'd do some kicks every so often. But this kid, all he would do was just kick me. And it was so fucking annoying. Like all he would do is just kick me. And I was like. Cause the, cause as soon as his foot made contact with me, he would get the point instantly, but you would have to make like a good contact punch for it to count. But these judge were just called everything for the good kicks. So we just kept kicking and I was so pissed off and I kept trying to like counter him. Like I did it a couple of times, but it was just, it was closer. And, oh, I lost to that. I lost to that kid in the, the finals. So, there was that tournament, and then, like, five years later, when I was a bit older, I picked up karate again. And so, picked up karate again. Got into the semi, the finals again. And 
I'm like 15. No, like 13. I think it was the 13 to 12 range. 13 to 12 range. Um, and there was this kid there. No way in fuck he was 13. This kid, it was like six foot five, 300 pounds, fucking massive. And I was like, no way in fuck I'm biting this guy. And so the judges allowed it, whatever. He sh he brought his birth certificate. So like, apparently they knew that this was, ha this has happened before. So I was like, well, shit, looks like I got to fight a Hulk. So let's fucking go. So I ended up fighting this kid and right off the bat, first thing that he does fucking clocks me straight in the face, which you weren't allowed to do it in karate. Like this was like safe karate, like modern karate tournaments. Like you can like come like this close to someone's face and that would be a point, but like you can't make contact. This guy just full on just haymaker clocked me and I just, I drop I'm like this. This guy just drops me. And so I pat, I'm knocked out and I get up and I'm like, holy shit. They're like, yeah, that's just going to be a red card for you. And I was like, the kid fucking dropped me. What do you mean? Like a red card? Like he didn't get fully like disqualified. It was like his warning or whatever. And I'm like, how the fuck is that a warning? And I remember my gi, like you were supposed to keep it like super white. And I remember there was just blood from my nose everywhere. Like even through the, um, through the, um, through like the, like the soft, like pads, the dude still like managed to punch me so hard. My nose was bleeding. My gi was just bloody. And like my mom tried her best to get like all the blood out, but like my gi is still just stained blood. And so all of the time after that, I felt like a straight badass just walking into karate, just covered in my gi was just blood red. Like, oh, it was so cool. All right, what else? Then, honestly, the robotics tournaments growing up, like, I did, I did, we've only done, I only did them in grade 12. But they were always kind of fun because, like, I would hang out with, like, like, on the team, there was Jake Reinen, who was always kind of a bit of a goof, but. Jake Ryan and Preston Hawk. So it was like not like my average like crew of people I would hang out with. So it was always an interesting experience. But the thing was you would have to get up so fucking early to drive to these things. And like oh. Like I remember getting up at four, driving to Waterloo to go to these robotics tournaments. And like you get there and it's just crazy. Like you don't expect it to be this big, but it's it's like an oh like the London Knights arena was like the nationals like the the we made it to the ontario like regionals or whatever so we get there and it was like a day it was like a two or three day event so that's when we were sleeping over in the field team was ripping tokes and stuff which was interesting to say the least but there was that which was always but just i don't know it was just a different experience with like a different group of people oh that's something that I could touch on. Always having hockey dinners, going like out to a restaurant for like hockey dinners and stuff. That was always the best. Like just having all like 12 of us at a hockey at a table was just the best. See you later. That hockey, like, I remember, like, that was actually the best. Do, 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 do. do you remember when we went to the tap and you kept asking the waiters, that one waiter or waitress, the stupidest questions? Can I have boneless pizza? Can I have boneless water? Like, you just kept asking for, like, boneless shit and she was just so fed up with your shit by the end of the night. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, that was so funny. Oh. <laughs> Motherfuckers are already on B again. Gotta be 
be careful here. Close to a beetle. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, we might lose in time. By the time I get this thing, you know what? Fuck it. Throw the care package down. Yeet. Okay, let's get something good from this care package here. Dan, 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 dan. What's your buck? Motherfucker, a cluster mine? I don't need. Oh, that's just a fucking bomb thing. Oh, hello. We are taking Alpha. The cat just walked in down here. The enemy has captured two objectives. Move to secure. No, dude, he had to been one. I don't know, we might be able to win this if we can hold down A and B, but I don't know. Hmm. Level 10? Okay, what the fuck is going on? That thing is wacko. Weird. I feel like they might be trying to come to B soon. I predicted ya. Oh. The dude with the fucking nunchucks again. No! Don't let them get Alpha. We... I don't know. We can... If we can take C too. I'm just trying to keep B defended here. Alright, let's go, UAV. Oh shit! There's a guy there. Oh! No, I have to finish my reload. Peek me. <laughs> we were both just fucking inching towards each other. Shit. All right, we gotta go try and stop them from taking the B. Oh, but I have eight bullets, no. Damn it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we got a gun. Try and take B here. Try and take B back. There we go, Just got a VTOL too, perfect. Nice. Go. Oh no, I'm not even gonna get to use my Vito or another fucking cluster mine! No! I wasn't even able to use any of my shit. Damn it! Started to pop off at the end. a bunch of shit. Alright. We unlock that. Get this thing. So eventually we can get this new gun here. Might do some grinding to try and get this thing. Holy shit. How long have we been live for? An hour and 20 minutes. God damn. Been a fat minute. Oh wait. Okay. What level do we need to get this gun to again? So <laughs> Let's, my fucking memory is gone. Get it to level 13. And what do we have it as right now? 10? Oh. oh yeah, we unlocked the bigger mag. Let's go. Puzzle. Do we want a suppressor? Fuck yeah, we do. Love suppressors. Oh, this is a fun map, especially hardpoint. I love playing hardpoint. 
because it actually forces people to actually move. Oh. Okay. You know what? Let's rock a different site here. Let's try whatever the freak this thing is. Oh. Damn. That's an interesting site. He's a weird looking guy. Okay, so I think they'll be maybe behind us maybe this way. Okay, we got we one of our guys spawned over there. Okay, we're spawning behind. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think I died. Yep, I died. Okay, I gotta switch it to full auto. There we go. Alright, let's just let's just try and go on a flanky poo here. Try and catch somebody with their pants down. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. No! What the Dude's just chilling there still. Ah! I'm flashed. Hmm. Oh yeah, um... I tried playing CSGO for the first time. I'm assuming you know CSGO. And... CSGO, the first time I had ever played it, never had touched the game before, I was like, fuck it, let's play some CSGO, it's like something different, right? So, load on to CSGO, play like a quick play match or whatever, not like ranked or anything like that. So... Jump in. And I'm like, damn, dude, this guy is popping off. He just got like five kills in like a second. Like he's just mowing people down. And so I die because I'm ass. And so I'm like, okay, let's spec this dude. He's like, he's like insanely good. And this is what he's doing. And he just killed the entire enemy team. Like he was just full on rage hacking. And I'm like, Oh, uh, what? Okay, why is my camera so blurry? I don't like that. It should be not bad. But he's just full on just rage hacking, just full on just and killed the whole team. And I'm like, wow, this is CSK. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to win that gunfight against a See you later. No, no, ran out of ammo. Oh, fuck. And I was like, dude, that's just like crazy. And I've never, ever seen like a blatant hacker like that in my game. Like any game, any before. And I've been playing games forever and I've never seen like a crazy blatant hacker like that before. Oh, I wanted to try and just fuck with them. But uh, it was just so. Um, tell me about my PC. So, uh, my PC. So, from the beginning, I'd always wanted a PC. Like, I, when I started making YouTube videos, I was using my laptop and my Xbox to, like, record and stuff. So, there was, I started with that, then I was like, oh, no, like, if I had a PC, I could be doing, like, so much better. So, this is actually kind of sad, but... My grandma died. And so I had a little bit of inheritance from her. I, like, I got $1,000 from her. So, like, all of all of her, like, grandchildren got $1,000. So I was like, okay, I got $1,000. I'm going to buy a computer. So I go to my uncle, who's, like, fucking crazy about computers. Like, he loves computers. And I was like, hey, I want to build a computer. And he goes, no, don't build a computer Unless you know what you're doing, you don't really save that much money. So I was like, okay, so I'll just buy a computer. What would, what would you recommend? And he goes like, oh, well, like, what's your budget and all this stuff? So I was like, okay, here's all my budget and everything. So he goes through and he's like, okay, here's this PC from Dell. Like here, just 
buy this one it's the best like probably the best bang for your buck at the time because at the time trying to find a graphics card like the main thing that you, you would use for gaming were like they were absurdly expensive like crazy ass expensive i'm gonna sneak up on this guy Bop. and he and like i was like okay so i just bought it i didn't really know much about anything about computers i just wanted something that was gonna do stuff so got this computer this old this old computer i just bought well not an old computer but the thing was the thing took like two months to come in like to ship like come to me like two months and i was like damn like they must be like handcrafted in this shit but no they were but i got my computer eventually and then i kept using it but then i i got into like all the electronics and computer stuff and all that shit and then I slowly started to like learn about my computer and everything and all that jazz. And then one lonely night, one night I get our power flickers. And I was like, oh damn, our power flickers. And I'm like, damn, whatever, they don't have power. Go downstairs and I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna play some Call of Duty, whatever. This is like a year ago. Click the power button on my computer, nothing, nothing. And I was like, uh, that's not good. The warranty had expired on my PC, so I couldn't like get it fixed or anything. So I'm like, damn, okay, I gotta try and figure out what's wrong. So I went to the um, guy at our high school, Lord Dorchester. I went to, we had an IT guy there and I went to him, I talked to him a bit before and i was like hey man i don't know what's wrong with my computer like i don't know what to try or like where to start and he goes first always try like whenever like some power outage stuff always try your power supply so i was like bad okay do you have like a power supply that i could borrow and he goes yeah sure here he gave me like this power supply that i used and um it didn't work so i was like damn okay but i knew that the power supply was it wasn't the power supply so i was like damn okay so then i was like shit must be like the motherboard or something because I tried like swapping out all my components with everything until like everything worked. So I was like, okay, the motherboard's bad because like something blew up. But like I realized because there's like these little like capacitors on the board that are like these little things that hold electricity. One of them had like completely like blown up. So I was like, damn, okay, we gotta get a new motherboard. So I'm like, all right, got the new motherboard. I got a new thing. We're ready to go. Let's build this thing. So I was planning on putting everything, just throwing my new Frankenstein computer in my old case, but my old case had only was only designed for that one specific motherboard and power supply. So I was like, Dell, you motherfuckers. So I'm like, okay, bet. So I go out, buy a new case and everything. So I had to like, ended up buying a bunch of new brand new stuff, but oh well, and then, I was running, so these things here, these are, these are sticks of RAM, so those things on my old computer, I had, it was one stick, and, but there's, you can have up to four on most motherboards, so I had one stick, but the thing was, if you have two sticks with like half the amount, they run faster because it's supposed to be like two sticks will be like dual channel, so it's like faster, so I was like, okay, let's get some new stuff, so then I got the, these, these these guys in here but i had only gotten two of them and then i eventually got more just it's just nice to have the more the merrier and so there's that mm. and then i actually have another kind of it's not really a computer but it's, it's it's a server so i have a server and it just holds a bunch of storage so instead of filling up all my storage on my like my pc here so I couldn't have as many games. I was like, okay. So I built my server to just have a shit ton of storage. So my I have a storage server that just has a shit ton of stuff and it also has a bunch of movies on it. So it's like a it's called a Plex server. So it's just like my own like little Netflix and I can download whatever movies I want and just watch it whenever I want. So it's doing that. And then I was also thinking about turning it into a Minecraft server because you can do that, which would be pretty dope. that would be kind of dope so i yeah 
Okay, let's let's take this W here. So there's that, which is honestly so nice because when I stream, I just record the whole thing and like it takes up so much storage, like just hour, couple of hours of footage every so often. So that's really nice to have. Hmm, is there anything else? Oh, and then so this cooler here, so this is a water cooler. So it uses like water to cool the CPU. And normally these things are like $200. Like I think these were $200, this model, like 200 bucks. I'm like, I'm not paying 200 bucks for like something that's like not that important. But I had went on this like auction house in London and they were selling this one for like $10. And I was like, you're going to bet your damn ass I'm going to buy that. So I picked up this um, water cooler for like 10 bucks. So I was like, oh, hell yeah. There's that. Um, hmm. We have one token. So I got that. I got that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was nice. But eventually i would like to um upgrade my graphics card so like that's like the main thing that does like all like the calculations for like gaming and stuff so i want to get that upgraded so like right now i normally get like 70 to 80 90 fps when i stream and like play call of duty but hopefully i want to get a new one of those but everything else is pretty good so far like i'm still running like my graphics card and my CPU are both from like my old computer, like my pre-built, which is nice. Like I didn't have to buy a bunch of new brand new parts. Like the power outage could have like completely like nuked everything and I would have had to start all over. But now I have everything plugged into a surge protector. So if that does happen again, the, um, this like power block thing will blow up instead of my computer. Oh, and then here's something I I almost I almost thought I blew up my computer again. So it was like two or three weekends ago. I I was playing Call of Duty and I was like, hmm, or it was like a while ago I was playing Overwatch or whatever, and I had noticed my frames have dropped like a lot. Like normally I would get constant like max 160. So I was like, huh, why is it dropping all the way down to like 60? like 10 like really really low because this had never really happened before so i was like huh and it turns out i had accidentally changed like a settings on like a thing that controls the graphics card to only let it go to uh 71 degrees so i was like oh okay i'll just change it to like let it go to whatever it wants like to go as high as it wants so like i get like more performance out of it because it stays just chill at 71 and I still don't know why it only goes to 71, but you know, I'm not gonna complain. I'd rather it stay there than just blow up or something. But, so there's that. And I was like, okay, so let's change, change this so it just does whatever. And so I let it limit to go as high as it wants. And as soon as I click apply, I'm not even shitting you. As soon as I click apply to that setting, my screen goes black, my computer shuts off, the whole power goes out in my house. And I'm like, did I just blow up my computer and like blow up my house? I didn't know my teeny tiny little one slot graphics card could just take out my entire house. But no, the power went out the exact moment I hit apply on that setting. So it was like, oh my God. Like that was so scary. I remember thinking I was like, Oh, oh, I just, my heart just dropped. I was like, are you kidding me? Not again. Oh. But I'm thankful that nothing else has happened to it. Cause like, I remember when Mason had just moved in, like his house were still having like, their house was still having like electricity problems and his power would flicker a lot. And he had lost like a bunch of his computer parts like two or three times and they had to rebuild it a bunch of times. So I'm glad I don't have to like completely do that again. So, but I knew I always wanted to get like into computers cause like I'm, event I'm going to school to like do computer stuff, which is really, really awesome. Ugh. <sighs> oh my 
God, fucking faggot. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that dude is not having it. Half the team is laying on the ground like a bunch of bitches. I am not the lowest level in this game. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. No, stay alive. Stay alive. Oh, that's a sentry gun. You know what? We're just going to slowly crawl away from that. Fucking kidding me. Jeez. All right. Go, 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 go. Get away from that thing. Oh, wait, there's a dude here. Hello. See you later. Nice. We're losing alpha. No, not alpha. Where is it? Throw the grenade thingy. That did not do shit. Oh! Fucking cool. Sick shotgun to the face. Doesn't kill us. Wait, three UAV. Call that shit in. Then let's try and get this care package going. Oh yeah, call that shit in. No! No shit! No! 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 no. Where's my care package? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Where's my care package? Get the care package! We got it. Are you a counter UAV? There we go. We still got it. Don't worry. We got it. Oh, let's go. I did not think I was going to win that, but I will take that. Oh, that's the sentry gun again. Ugh. I I like throwing on the the care package because you never know what you're gonna get, but most of the time you just get disappointed, let down. But the odd time that it gives you like a fucking juggernaut or something. That's what I'm waiting for. It's just the one time I get a juggernaut. <sighs> We're probably slow, so close to getting this fucking weapon the next level and finally getting it on high enough level rank 43 let's go I also miss getting prestiges in this game. Like, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, like, after you got to level 55, you could prestige. That was always, like, my favorite thing. Did we get this thing to level 13? Yes, we fucking did. Let's go. Now let's get this other gun. Let's equip the, um, this, this cool version that I have of it. Get some attack. Oh, no, it's this thing. So is this thing just, like, the gun I've just been using but fully automatic? Oh no, it shoots a little bit faster. Wait, loadouts. Edit. Just pick the normal version of it. Do we have any equipped or unlocked for it? No, we did not. I didn't think we would. Okay, yeah, so it shoots a bit faster, which is kind of dope. What the hell? Watch your fire, you oh, it's fucking Shredder from the Ninja Turtles! I don't understand why people would... Okay, I can't really spe speak and say why do people buy sh skins in video games because I've spent a quite a decent... Ch <laughs> quite a decent chunk of money on Valorant. I spent probably a good $100 on Valorant for like two skins because the skins in that game were absurdly expensive. Like absurdly expensive like my knife was like 60 bucks and then i bought the battle pass like twice Fuck. oh boy hmm. uh oh oh the pdw no that's the p90 ah, i want to get that Oh, Lord. Dodge that bullet IRL. Oh. 
Oh well. How are we doing? We're doing. Get B. No way in fuck we're winning this game, but we can try. Yeah. You can slowly. Just throw that shit in the air and see what happens. Damn it, he's just sitting there in the window. The enemy took Bravo. Damn, dude. We have not had a single new person. Actually, we've had one new person join the stream this whole time. Oh, well. It's a bit late. Oh, fuck. Can I outrange him with the deagle, though? No, I cannot. One. Oh, no, he hit the second shot. I was going to say, damn, he must have missed. Okay, we're going to go... Oh, I wanted to go all the way around and behind the map and try and get behind him. But, oh, well. Mm hmm. <sighs> hmm, what other shit can I think of? Like, hmm. Okay, well, I think weird shit happened, like when we were on vacation. Um, wait, why do I have all these things unlocked, even though it's not even that high level? I don't know, man. Like, when we went... I don't know, like, when we went to Florida, did any weird, funny shit happen? Like, I don't know, like, we saw... Oh, Oh fuck, that's such a good YouTube channel, whatever. Oh my god, we're playing on shipment? Let's go! <laughs> I forget what YouTube channel he's watching right now, but he is funny. I forget his name. Like, when we were in Florida on our trip, what weird shit happened? Uh, We snuck a lot of booze on our cruise ship. We snuck a lot of booze. <laughs> like, we went to... Florida, and we had uh, we stopped at a gas station and they were selling these little tiny like liquor bottles for a dollar each and it was like a shot of liquor for a dollar each and we're like all right well we buy a couple just for like the boat and everything and paul just goes grabs like an entire shelf of them so like 20 of them slaps them down hands the girl 20 and then we're like, oh, what are we going to do? Like, how do we smuggle them on the boat? Dad just opens up our bag, dumps them all in there. And he's like, we'll be good. <laughs> they all they all made it on the boat. So <laughs> that was fun. Uh, then once we got on the boat, it was really. <sighs> there was a lot of comedy. Sh just because I turned 18, I got to see all the R rated comedy shows. And it was really funny because I always like to sit up in the front row. And that means like all the comedians will just try and like rip on me. I'm like. La like make fun of me but like I give it straight back to the comedians I will take that fat triple even though that guy was straight AFK but this one comedian that was there we went to his R-rated show I sat up straight in the front row oh my god I was in that but I sat up in the front row I was like fuck it and this guy was like trying to give me like he was trying to like say shit to me like i was just telling me him about like my life and my sh like all this stuff that i would talk like just normal shit i was just shooting the shit with the guy and he would be like oh what do you he was always like oh do you have a girlfriend or whatever and i was like yeah i do and he goes oh when you're on the boat no you don't and i was like uh okay and then i told him like i was like a finch i i told him about like my mascotting job and that i had like i had like two or three jobs at the time and he was like holy shit most kids your age don't even want to get off the couch and i was like yeah well i i like to have money and spend money and do shit so but having money is just you get you have so much more freedom also i love shipment oh my god Oh my 
god. No. But I just love comedy shows. Like just just fucking around with the comedians too. Like what else was this guy saying? Like he's he was such a good comedian too. And like after after the show, like a lot of like a couple of like older people that came up to me and they're like, "Wow, we've never I've never like seen like a kid your age who actually like would sit up front at a comedy show and just get ripped on by this comedian." I was like, "Yeah, well, it's fun." But like and like one lady was like, oh my God, can I see like your bird costume? And I was like, yeah. And like, it was so funny. I never thought I would be a furry, but as soon as the, the furry job started to pay, I was like, you know what, might just have to. Cause like, I guess technically I am a furry, but not really. But like, damn, those like, those costumes are expensive. Like the Finchy, um, like the, like I wear like an underpant, like where my pajamas are. It's like a skin tight like pant, and they wanted two hundred dollars for that. Like the the company that made Finchy, they wanted two hundred dollars for those pants, and I was like, oh my Christ, that is expensive. Like two hundred dollars for like these pants. And they're like, yeah, but you're never going to get these pair of pants anywhere else. And I was like, I guess, but still. Like, I wasn't paying for it. It was just like the lady who owned the Finchy suit was telling me. And I was like, God damn, that is expensive. Like, 200 bucks for a pair of pants? What are they, like some kind of fucking Gucci pants? Some Gucci Louis Vuitton pants? Holy shit. This is why I love shipment. It's just so chaotic. And you can just get so many kills and just... You have, like, streaks like that where this guy's in front of me and just so much shit's going on. And the, the odds of me actually getting to collect my care package here are next to zero, but we're going to try and actually get it. The ch actual chances of me actually being able to collect this thing are insanely low. Because of just how hectic this shit is. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Bomb drone? Wait, I've never got to use one of these things. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get there. Okay, go, go. Can I, like... Why am I not moving? No! I couldn't even use the bomb drone. That's why I miss the RCXDs, because you could just drive them shit straight into somebody, and they would still die. Oh, I miss the RCXDs. Those things were so fun. Dude, these guys don't even know I'm here. That's just two free kills. Oh, hopefully this doesn't kill me. Nope, we're good. Like, those two dudes had no idea I was even there. And those are two closer. Like, hardcore shipment is also more insane, too. Like, hardcore is just crazy. I'm like, I think I've leveled up this gun so m I've leveled this gun up like four or five times now. Just because the sheer amount of chaos that is shipping. I'm like... Like... What is even going on? Oh my god, I spawned on the hard point that they control. Hello, sir. What the hell is go even going on? I guess I'm sniping now. I have a care package. Let's Fucking Captain Price? Like, what is this spawn? Four. Okay, throw the care package down. Let's try and get this thing. If I get this care package, that would actually be crazy. If we get it two times in a row. But, like, I have not played on shipment this on this, like, game before. Like, that's how little I've played this game. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. Another fucking bomb drone. We get a second chance. Let's go. Oh my god, we are getting smoked. I don't care. I just I just want to play shipment. I'm just trying to get my gun ranked up, dog. That's all I care about. All I care about is getting this gun leveled up. Okay. That's a dead end. Ugh. Like, I have almost 40 kills, dude. That's all I care about in shipment. I just want kills, dog.
Hmm. Like, what are these spawns, dog? No way. Like, this is just crazy, but I will take anything and everything that I get. Yeah, shipment definitely is a top 10, top, top, top 5, top 3 map. One of It's like been in almost every Call of Duty for like a while now. Alright, let's try this bomb drone again. Don't, no, oh, not, not enough space. Alright, well, let's do it here. Let's get this guy. Damn it, killed myself. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, also something crazy that happens. Wait, did I get a kill there? Damn. Like, also, something that I want to do. When we were in Florida, it was like, there was a gun range. Like, there was this massive-ass gun range. And I was like, I looked at my mom and my dad. I was like, we gotta go. And they're like, fuck it, sure. My dad was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's go. And I was like, all right, bet. Perfect. And so... It was closed, unfortunately, but I was like, damn, I thought I was going to get to go and, like, shoot a gun. But, like, no. Unfortunately not. Why did you spawn there, sir? Hmm. Oh, I know. Vacation was fun. There's just so much weird shit that goes on in Florida. Like, when we were in Florida, I think there was a small child who got eaten by an alligator when we were there. Yeah, like, like at the hotel we were staying at, it was like, there was like a pond, and there was a child who got eaten by an alligator, which was interesting. I mean, like, I mean, there's literally, like, signs around. And, like, even in, like, Disney and shit in Florida, like, it, there's literally signs that say, do not leave your child unattended or the alligators will get your child. I stuck someone with a drill charge? Hello? That's an... All right. Level 9, dude. We've leveled up this gun eight times in this single game. Like, that is crazy. I love shit. Oh yeah, um, I'll tell you about the time I almost got, like, fucking strip shirt, strip searched at a, um, at an airport. So, we were going to, um, Alberta for a skiing trip. Like, it was just me and my mom, just a little ski trip. And I was wearing my work boots, and they were steel toe boots. So, obviously, the steel toe would set off the, um would set off the, like, metal detector, right? But at this certain airport, for some reason, they didn't take me to take my shoes off, which I found to be really weird, because normally they do. So, they were... I completely forgot that my boots were steel toe. And so they thought that, that I was trying to smuggle shit in, because their metal detectors were going off, but they didn't know, like, what was possibly causing it. So... They're like, okay, go into this room off to the side here. So I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm going to get, like, my butthole searched or something. But I remember at, like, the very last second. Also, we dropped 65 kills. Let's go. I don't care that we lost. I get leveled up that gun so much. And I remember sitting there, like, in this little containment room. And I was thinking, holy shit, what, like, what did I eat? Like, what could possibly be, like, setting off this metal detector? I remember thinking, I was like, okay, I, my hat, there's nothing on my hat. My glasses I took off, my earrings, anything. And then I went, like, down. I was like, I don't got, like, anything weird. And then no belt, no nothing. And I was like, hmm. Like, I had no idea what it was. And then I remember I looked down at my shoes and I was like, holy shit so i ran out and i was like to the tsa agent i was like it's it's guys 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 it's my steel toe boots i swear please don't like stick your finger in my butt and they were like okay so well we'll we'll look and check to see if it is and i was like okay please don't so i ended up they took my i took my boots off and they're like oh okay like we apologize like we should have like done that and i was like 
Yeah, I almost got my butthole searched, which was kind of terrifying. I know most people can't say that, but I always... Movement speed? I don't really give a shit. Like, most people, I always get fucking searched. I always get, like, I always get, always, always get screwed over when it comes to the airport. Like, it's cr But, oh well, they're just doing their job, so. Ugh. Oh shit, the border, just thinking of this, this map, the border, um, um, Cole had a, they used to do a lot of foreign exchange students, right? So, they had had a boy from Austria, Vincent's, and we had a hockey tournament, so they brought Vincent's to the hockey tournament, and so, as soon as they handed, they, Jackie and Tom handed Vincent's passport to the people at the U.S. border, they saw it because it was a different color. They're like, all right, everyone out of the car. And we were like, um, why? They were like, all right, everyone just out of the car. No questions. Just get out of the car. They completely ripped apart the car. They did. They searched us. They like asked Vincent's a bunch of questions. They did all this crazy shit. And, oh, it was, it was just a pain in the ass. We showed up like an hour late to the tournament and everyone was like, oh, where were you? And we're like, oh yeah, we just got fucking surged because of Vincent's. But they're just doing their job. But it wasn't like they were like, they didn't ask any questions first. They were like, yeah, just, just get out of the fucking car. We're just going to search your ass first. Which is, it was so weird. Like I, I don't know. What else was there? Like, what other... Mm. Oh, there was one time that we thought Sarah got fucking kidnapped. So we were in Chicago visiting family. We were in... So we were decided, fuck it, let's go down downtown Chicago. Which, looking back now, was not a very smart idea because downtown Chicago, a lot of bad shit happens, right? So... We're downtown Chicago and we're going under this subway thing and we had just left a Starbucks because Sarah likes to collect these like Starbucks mugs. And there's one special one that said Chicago on it. So we we're like, okay, Sarah, you can get it, whatever. And so Sarah had gotten this mug and so we were leaving and there we were walking under the subway and then I turn around and I go, where did Sarah go? And we were like looking around, she was nowhere to be seen. So we thought someone just pulled up with a van, took her and just dipped. So we were like, well, Sarah's gone. Well, that's not good. Then that was there was that. And then we were like, uh, where did Sarah go? And then like five seconds later, I see out of the corner of my eye, Sarah just running from the directions of the Starbucks. And I was like, uh, there she is. Oh, my God, she didn't get kidnapped. And then it turned out that she had left the mug that we had just bought in the store and ran back and didn't tell anybody. So we all thought that Sarah was just gone and kidnapped and just gone forever. And then that same day that we were in Chicago was the first time in like five years that no one was reported dead in Chicago in like four or five years, which was just crazy. Which is, which is crazy to think about, that it's just been so long, that it's just normal. Oh, see you later. That's just Chicago, I guess. It's just a, such a dangerous place. Like, it's just such, like, yeah, she didn't, thankfully she was not kidnapped or anything. But, like, Chicago is such a scary place. We're like, yeah, we're not going back there again. Sorry, but... That shit is scary. Uh, what other, like... Hmm. Hmm. Think. What other like 
shit have I got? Mm. I've never like gotten in trouble with like the cops or anything like that, like crazy shit like that before. Like I've never gotten like that bad of trouble. Like, oh, I know what I can tell you, tell you shit about. Um, so I work at a place in Ingersoll called the Elmhurst. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's like um, it's like a fancy, fancy like historical place in Ingersoll, the Elmhurst. But I work and I do weddings there. Like I help set up people's weddings and shit, and I do like events there so one night there was me and my friend that i had made working there his name was noah me and noah were just we're like getting ready it's like 12 in the morning this wedding's just just like everyone's leaving and we're just ready to get getting ready setting up the next room for like the next event and so we're using the elevator and I'm looking down at the ground, just whatever. I'm dead tired. And I'm like, Noah, am I tripping or is that blood on the ground? And he goes, no, that is definitely blood. And we go, why is there blood on the ground? And he goes, I don't know, man. So we would gotten up to the second floor, which there was a bunch of like hotel rooms. And we had followed this like blood stain trail. And it led to a room and then there was just like a blood, like a bloody handprint on the door and shit. And we were like, uh, yeah, we're calling the cops. So we go down in front desk and we're like, yeah, so there's uh, this situation. Turned out that the, um, one of the groomsmen had almost beat his girlfriend half to death at this wedding, which is just fucking crazy. Like, but apparently this it's fairly common for like like when i've worked there i've had i've seen like four or five crazy ass fights yeah like like it was crazy but the thing was we had, we were i remember i was talking to the mother of the bride and i was like hey yeah so like this guy is going to jail in a cop car and she goes oh kevin yeah we kind of thought that that might happen and i was like why the fuck did he come to the wedding then why was he invited to the wedding if you knew this might happen and we we're like, yeah, well, we didn't know. And I was like, what the fuck? Um, um, then so the guy who owns the Elmhurst, his name is Farhi. Like he owns like half of like all of London and like half of Ontario. I don't know if you know Farhi, but Farhi owns the place. And so his lawyer had had a wedding. Like she got married at the Elmhurst. What the fuck? Oh, this is the vector. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> She was getting married there. And this was the first time. So I, I'm i going to try and become a bartender. And so I was just getting trained on bar. And the bartender who was training me was like, all right, I'm going to go have a smoke. Like, you got this. Don't worry. Just do you what you know. I was like, all right, perfect. So we have these walkie talkies. And I'm just thinking like, all right, this is just going to be normal. And then I see the bride start to get up. He's got last stand. I'll come like motherfucker. This bride is just super drunk. And she gets up on a table and just starts fucking dancing. And then the whole wedding party, like everyone starts getting up and then the mom and father of the bride and the groom and everything's just up there dancing. And I remember I had my walkie talkie and I was like, um, Sal, who was like the manager, who was like the, like the supervisor at the time. I was like, hey, uh, Sal, um, the bride is dancing on the, uh, the uh, head table nothing for like five seconds or like nothing for like a minute and i'm like uh maybe they didn't hear me so i repeat it and then i just see everyone just run out of the back kitchen i was like uh thanks for coming because like i didn't know what i what i was supposed to do in this situation because like far he's like one of the most powerful people in all of fucking canada like i didn't want to like disrespect his lawyer and say like hey can you not dance on the table because that's a massive lawsuit which you should know because you are a lawyer but oh well so there is that. What else? What other crazy shit happened? Um, we had another fight. We had a fight between a the groom and the best man. So the best man and the bride had were together before. So the best man and the bride were together, and then they had broken up, but they still were kind of friends. And then so the best, so then the groom got with the wife and whatever, and he was best friends with his best man right and 
the best man requested the DJ to play Jesse's Girl, which if you don't know, Jesse's Girl is a song about a guy talking about wanting to get with his best friend's girlfriend. And so that, yeah, did not go down good. And so they were just having a full on fist fight. And this was like my second time working. And I remember I was like, oh, okay, let's just go check. And I remember I walked out and I just saw fucking punches being thrown left, right and center. And I'm like, I'm just gonna go back inside. Like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm out. So there was that time. Oh, and then there is this. There was a bride. She was this really small, small, like Latina lady. She was really, really tiny, like five foot, like two or something. She was really small. And then her husband was like, had to have been like six foot five. 30 pounds of just straight muscle. This guy was huge. And I remember for their first dance, they didn't like do like a traditional first dance. They were just like, they did like a salsa dance, but she was pregnant at the time. So they were salsa dancing while she was pregnant. And there was like such this massive height difference between the two of them. And it was crazy. It was <laughs> like just just this absolute giant guy and this teeny girl. He hit me with that in the elbow with that thing. Yeah, but like, oh, and then there was this other really weird couple. So I also drive a golf cart. So our one of the one of our most popular places to like get married, like on site. It's like it's called the Valley because it like it drops down and like to like a huge valley. And so there's like a huge drop and like a lot of people can't get down it because they're like wearing heels. So I drive a golf cart and then people like take the golf cart down or whatever. So I just kind of hover at the top of the hill. And then so this wedding started. So I was waiting for like the wedding to finish so I could drive people up. So I kind of, you know, hear what goes on at a lot of these weddings. And so this bride and groom had been together for eight months. So got together, eight months had passed, and then they were got married. They were, the guy was super, super, super Christian. And their first ever kiss, like in the relationship, their first ever kiss was when the pastor dude was like, you may now kiss the bride. That was their first ever kiss. Out of eight months, they had never kissed until that moment. And which was just kind of crazy. And then there was, then that same time they had their, um, like before they they were sitting down and eating like their dinner or whatever, they were just talking a lot. But the guy, the groom was talking and he's talked for like 10 minutes straight about how he like found God. And when he found God, he met his wife and like all this crazy shit. And I was like, oh my God. And then, it happens a lot more than you think, but like we've had a lot of like, like 20 year, oh, let's fucking go shit, man. We've had like a lot of like 20 year old girls get married to like 80 year old dudes. Like I've had like a groom be like, like with an oxygen tank, like walking in a walker down the aisle. And then the girl being like, f like fucking not even 1920. And it's like. Weird. But, I mean, you do you, um, I'll just do me. But, that's a little weird. Personally. But, you see so much crazy shit. It's for the money. Oh, 100%. There's no... Oh, that was a nice... That was a nice little double there. Because of that scout thingy. But, yeah, it's like 100%. But then the also the really cool thing is that we can see how much we charge for our weddings. Like we have a contract that says like how much these people are paying. So I always like kind of like to look and see like how much these people are paying for their weddings. I've seen some $50,000 weddings. Like it's crazy how much people spend on these weddings. But, like yeah, I guess like yeah, you spend a lot of money on your wedding, but Still, like, that's a lot of money, man. 
could just be like whipping out for like a day. Fuck, I should have taken this care package off because like no way in hell. It's just too slow. Shit, shit. I'm just shooting at anyone and everyone. I don't even know, man. Okay, we got the score streaks on, so if I hold this point, we might get... And they also have a honeymoon. Yeah, no, that's what I'm... But, like, what I would think is, like, if I were to have my wedding, I would rather spend, like, have, like, a decent wedding. Like, not, like, something crazy-ass expensive, right? Like, just have, like, a normal wedding. Like, not, like, something crazy-ass expensive. I would rather blow all my money on a fucking crazy long cool ass honeymoon. Like imagine what you could do with 50 grand on a honeymoon. Like a 50 grand honeymoon would be so much better. Like you could do so much. Like you could travel for like months on 50k. Months. On 50k. Like, I mean, yeah, some people like the big bougie ass weddings, but like, mm. but it's also like, it also like ruins my sleep schedule, like staying up to like that late. But damn, but it's worth it some nights because like, yeah, the job is shitty, but the people that I get to work with are so fun. Like, I work with people that I never would have worked with, like, otherwise, like, I would... Oh, let's try and get my care package here. No way in hell I can get this, though. Oh, let's go. Mortar strike? Call that shit in on the point. Like, and I get to, like, meet a bunch of crazy-ass people. Like, I've met, like... like... I've met Farhi, which is just a crazy cool dude. Yeah. Like, he's, he's not, like, cool, but, like, it's he's a person that, like, you wouldn't really, like, meet otherwise, like, any other way. Oh, my God, I didn't even know you could go in here. Like, I've met just a lot of crazy people. But, like, the thing is, I do a lot of events, so, like, I see, like, people that normally do events. Like, for our Christmas party, for my other job, like, being Finchy, we had a Christmas party. And the people who were working, like, the DJ booth and, like, this pitcher booth... We're like the regulars that I always see at the Elmhurst. And so I was like, hey, I remember you. Do you remember me like working? And they're like, yeah, bro, we love you. Like we see you all the time. And I was like, yeah. And like, you get to see like all these crazy ass ethnicities, like all their crazy weddings, like I think it's like a Palestinian wedding or like there was this one religion wedding where the bride and groom like they had their entrance like into the room Their entrance they had they hired these guys. It was like a service for like their special like religion of wedding, right? So They came in with these swords and drums and this like dancing shit They were dancing all over the place. These two dudes were fucking sword fighting and shit like they were just Holy shit. Like, they were doing all this crazy sword fighting shit and all. Like, it was so cool. Have I unlocked the... Ooh, I got this gun. What was the point of even... Oh, yeah, to unlock that one. Let's try and... How do we get the M16? The Icarlius. What's the Icarlius? Is it an SMG? Oh no, it was to get this submachine gun. Hell yeah, to get the MP5. But you get to see so much cool shit, but like also a lot of messed up shit. Oh, then probably one of my favorite weddings. So this wedding, or there's two like kind of weed themed uh, weddings that I've worked. So. The first one was there, so they're called favors, and they're like the little things they put on your dish. Like, it's not like stuff, like the stuff that they put like on the, like just for like presentation. And there are these little packages of gummies, like just like gummy bears and stuff. 
And so after the wedding was over, we were like, oh, let's just have the gummy bears because like whatever, we're like hungry and we don't know what the fuck to do with them. Like we don't want to throw them away. So we all just, all the workers, we're just mucking these gummy bears, just dicking around, not, not a care in the world. And then we all, then I start to put the clues together. I'm like, this was a marijuana, this was a pot themed wedding. What if these are edibles? And we'd all had like 10 packs of them. Like, and I was like, Emma, my supervisor that was working that wedding, I was like, Emma, what happens if we're all like get super baked and can't like finish setting up this wedding? And she goes, well, that's just something that we'll have to, we'll have to figure out once we get to it. And I was like, all right, fuck it. We fall. But they were actually not edibles, thankfully. I mean, it would have been kind of sick, but not really. <laughs> but there was that. And then there was this wedding. So one of the places, another place that you could get married, it's the it's called the carriage house. It's like a little like cottage area. And so there's like a little back patio. And so I wanna I don't wanna use an SMG right now. You don't get a fast enough time to kill. And there was like this, there's this back porch and I saw this like little bucket and I was like, oh, what's in this little bucket? Cause we were cleaning it up. So I was like, okay, what's in this? It was probably about 50 little joints, like 50 little pre-roll joints from like, like a, like a dispensary. They were like little teeny mini like pre-roll joints. And I was like, They didn't take these with them? Like, why did they not, like, take these with them? So I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna take one. So I took one, and I was like... By the end of the night, I was like, oh, I'll just take one more, because they never noticed. So I just kept taking all these, like, mini joints, and I was like, you know what, fuck it, I just took the whole bucket of 50 of them. I'm still working on them, though. So... That was that was a fun experience. I don't even know what the fuck. Okay, we just got nuked. I got a Rosen press. I have no idea what that is, but sounds kind of dope. Rosen Press. Yeah, of course. We keep getting shipment, dog. This would be amazing. Love this. Yeet. Wait, we unlocked this thing? What the fuck? Oh my god, that thing shoots fast. Sick. No, oh, dude, but shipping is so much fun, dude. It's just straight chaos. And it's so small. Like, I miss when these maps used to be so small. It's just... Ow, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it even killed me. Yeah, no, we're getting smoked. I'm out with that though. Oh lord. I'm just chilling on shipment, man. This thing is fun as hell. Dude, shipment is the best map. Hands down. See you later. Oh, but this thing shoots fucking peas, dude. This thing would be probably pretty dope and hardcore.
another maybe another 60 kill game. Ah oh, no. <sighs> That, but I don't think it's just gonna let us go straight for that. Oh no, it will. Let's go. Let's get this thing. I honestly like how they did this. Like, I can choose what I want. I mean, this is honestly kind of dope. I dig it. <sighs> Two hours and 20 minutes. God damn. It's a long ass stream. Let's, let's try out this gun. Like, what other shit, like, TV shows, like, like, TV shows lately, like, what have I been watching? TV shows lately. I mean, like, The Office, yeah, that's, that's, I guess, really the only thing that I've been watching, has been The Office, because, like, I don't know like what else like i mean tv shows that i watch like i watched f is for family family guy like a lot of the animated shit i would lo i love watching but i missed all of those bullets nice um yeah i don't know man but like a lot of animated shit i love to watch like all the adult animation shit that's kind of fun. Okay, I gotta change this right, this fucking deployable shield, to something more useful. But like, what other, like, I don't even know what, like, uh, shows I would be watching right now. What's Battle Rage? Hmm, that's dope. Let's use that thing. Hmm, like... I mean, I, I, dog, it's so hard to, like, just talk to yourself and just keep a conversation going. Like, I don't even know what to be talking about right now. Hmm. He's got a riot shield on. Here we go, pop off queen, let's go. Oh shit, this is just straight steroids. Holy shit. Securing objective Charlie. <laughs> Damn. That's kind of sick. Not gonna lie. Under barrel. We control Charlie. We're taking Charlie. That's kinda cool. Battle rage. DDoS? Enemy UAV oh, that's kinda active. sick. Let's try that thing out. <sighs> Die. Oh, snapshot grenade. We unlocked that thing. That thing's kind of dope. 
We're losing B again, dog. Oh my god. DDoS? Zero devices in range. Hmm. So it actually tells you, like, what stuff in range you can actually nuke. What was that spawn, my friend? No, dude, this... Oh, I need to get a better mag for this thing. More bullets. Bullinitos. Yeah, teen a bit more range on this short, too. See you later, Ada. What other, like, secondary things or, like, things do we got here? I'm back. I Inflatable decoy? What other shit is there? Loadout drop, munitions box, trophy system, whatever that is. Tactical camera, smoke airdrop, recon drone, anti-armor rounds. Ooh, let's do that. Anti-armor rounds. No idea what I just... That EMP thing is kind of dope. But, like, you need to have, like, shit in range. Fuck! Yep, welcome back. Mm. I'm just gonna try and take an objective here because my team does not want to play the objective. Nice. Okay. Let's try and get a. Oh. Just gotta... Keep playing the objective. We're already losing B. Getting our shit ran. Hmm. This thing feels more like an SMG than a. Hmm. Battle rifles. No, SMGs, shotguns. SMGs. Hmm. Shotguns, SMG rifles, rifles. rifles. Alright, fuck it. Let's keep using this thing. The Chimera. Hmm. <sighs> Probably gonna end the stream around 10. Because I got school tomorrow, man. This shit sucks. But. Probably gonna end the stream at 10 because it's just a nice time to end the stream, I guess. So. I'm I'm really surprised, dog. You have stayed for like the whole stream. Like that's an hour and a half. Thank you. Like that's honestly kept me entertained this whole time. And like it motivates the shit out of me that like you are actually like here and like watch this. Cause like this feels so nice to have, just have someone watch. Like it's so sick. And like have someone that's actually like engaged in like. Like, you suggesting the Minecraft, like, thing, that honestly made me, like, so pumped. I was like, yeah, let's fucking do it. Like, it's so sick. Oh, shit, I ran back into the Semtex. Like, it honestly means a lot because, like, a lot of the time, a lot of the main reasons that I've kind of, like, done this a lot of on and off is because, like, it's just really unmotivating to, like, put all this work into shit and then just like it not really go anywhere but like that's the one thing that i like about streaming because like you'll get like that one person or something like that and it was just it's so just amazing and so i just really appreciate it it's awesome But like, I'm hyped for Minecraft tomorrow, just to get that thing going, just to something, something different. I'll try and be as here as much as can. Yeah, of course, it's, it's always awesome to have you here. I'll, I'll probably... 
I'll try and like start trying consistently starting at like the same time. Like try and sit like like stream from like f start at like five. Well, if I get mm, at least for like four. Like honestly, I think I might just try and set like a schedule like stream from like five to seven on like just try and try and get a schedule so like it's like not just random and out of the blue. So maybe try I'll try and start around five most nights. So. Just as long as I'm not working, it should be fine, but... So, I'll make it out to, I'll say, five, most likely. No! Grenade. I got notifications on, alright? Dope. That's awesome. You motherfucker. That last stand. That's not gonna go anywhere. We've secured two objectives. Oh, um, so remember how you said it was like Like every time you die in Warzone, you like take a shot. But like I'm really bad, so like I would be like shit faced in a minute. I was thinking like, what if I get like an edible once I turn 19? Like get an edible, but I cut it up into really small pieces, so it's like a one milligram edible. Or get something that's like one milligrams. And like every time I die, I take like one of the one milligram edibles. So like over the course of like two hours, I'll have like a shit ton of just mini edibles in my system. Like I think that would be kind of fun because it like gives me the it like gives you the longevity of not just being shit based or like that messed up right away but i think that would be kind of honestly kind of funny but i just not exactly sure if i can stream that but that would be kind of dope that's a great idea bitch fuck your last stand that's a great idea yeah mm. you can you can okay like i'm sure as soon as i turn 19 and since i'm in canada since it's legal i think it should be fine oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh no i was the last kill no hmm. well probably yeah probably just one more game here and then end the stream out <sighs> oh yeah, then we got a token. We almost got the battle pass gun unlocked too, which is kind of dope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What SMGs do I have unlocked? And, you know, let's... Mm -hmm. I think you're allowed to 18, but I don't know. Like, I know a lot of, like, the things when it comes to making money on YouTube is 18, but I don't think smoking is 18 in Canada. It's 19. I'm, like, 99% sure. Fire point. Because, like... Once you, so for YouTube, like, I know 18 is, like, the required age to be, like, making money off of YouTube. So, like, once you hit, like, a thousand subscribers, all YouTube restrictions are 18, though. Mm. Yeah. So, I think, yeah, as soon as you get, you get a thousand subs and, like, I think it's 4,000 watch hours, you get, like, the ability to get ads and shit. And then they pay you for it. Which is quite a long time away, but it's, I can't wait for that moment because like there's that, but then also like, I think you can also make money off streams, but that means like people donating and like, that's probably a fat minute away. Cause like streaming to one person is all like, 
I mean, I don't, I don't really want, I mean, the money would be sick, but like right now I'm just doing it because I play video games and I want to just eventually keep doing it. Like once I go to school, I want to keep doing this when I'm at school and shit. And I feel like it just will keep me occupied, like between school and like all my other shit. Just try and stay busy so I don't like go crazy at school. Just trying to ha have that nice balance. But like, I feel like if eventually I just keep at it, it will go somewhere. I hope. And you never know what might come out of it, so fuck it. You are one HP in a dream there, sir. I'm out this hole. No! Got this. Yeah, um... I feel very, like, very motivated this time around, like, to actually, like, do shit. Because, like... It was always just the fact that I had really slow-ass internet. Is why I, like, couldn't stream. I couldn't do a lot of these things, like, because just shit took so long to, like, upload. Shit took so long to do stuff. But, like... Oh, I don't have the drill charge thingy. But now that I can, like, we have, like, fast enough internet to do all this stuff, which is amazing. So, that's what I was... It was mo okay, um... Someone busted out the shotgun. But, honestly, the Wi-Fi, now that it's actually working, it's really awesome to be able to stream. And I also, like, never knew, like, how to do it, but now that I do know how to do it, it's, like, so much easier than I thought. Yeah, no, that's a quite the long range there. But, like... It's so nice to see, like, like, I uploaded a short not too long ago, and it got, like, 400 views, and I was like, damn, that's sick. And, like, just to see, like, the 400 views there, and, like, the odd, like, I think I got a couple of subs from it, but it's like, fuck yeah, dude. And, like, I think, like, I've started to do a lot more streams and stuff, like, lately. Like, in the last month, it's been, like, oh, 11 subs, and I was like, fuck yeah, that's more than I've gotten, like, a month, like, ever before. So, go whatever the fuck that thing is. Yeah, it's really sick to just see the, see the progress go up. It's just fucking so motivating. And then streaming as well, it's just like, cause like streaming, it's just like, yeah, show up, stream, do shit, but like, when it comes to videos, I feel like I have to record. I, I put so much effort into shit, but then it just gets nowhere, unfortunately. But I feel like with streaming, it's a little bit, little bit more easier, but it's still difficult. But it's I don't know. <gasps> Get fucked. I don't know. It's just a little bit easier to see results than a video because like you don't like put your fucking heart and soul into your stream. Well, you can put your heart and soul into your stream. And like see stuff out of it but like i would used to spend like an hour or two like just recording and then like editing and everything and then just to see it to get 11 views and like w three dislikes and i was like wow thanks it's just but honestly i love streaming it's so much better because like i love the live aspect of it and i love just because i will just talk for hours on end like if i get going i'll just sit here and just talk for hours so it's just perfect and like i love meeting new people because like just talking to like people from all over the world is kind of sick because like i've had like people in my streams that are like from like nebraska and just all this crazy ass shit so it's really cool just to like talk and like meet people from all over the world Oh, he's fucking crouched there. <sighs> the 
Wait, we got a triple here. No, damn it, the reload. I'm fucking pumped for Minecraft tomorrow. That's not a good place for me. Right I killed them? Damn. Enemy personnel at ah! Oh, he's fucking there on the stripper pole. Enemy suppressed. Oh, me just randomly throwing that mine in the corner actually did something. Look at that. Oh, he's in the no, nope, he's not in the corner. He's in the other corner. There's still there one. There's somebody among us. Here we go. Oh shit. Ah. Then I also feel like slowly as I like I slow you get I learn how to like add more things to the stream. Like, the viewer count and, like, all the, the sub count and everything. Just, like, learning how to do that stuff is also cool. Because, like, just adding, like, more stuff for, like... Fuck your last thing. Oh, shit. Like, add, just adding, like, other stuff, like... I don't know, like, what is good to add, but I just like seeing, like, the live sub count and, like, who who is the last sub. I feel like that's kind of cool. But like also like I want to learn how to get like cause so when someone subscribes I get like it like pops up on a notification like on there but I want to figure out how to get that like on my actual screen so like I actually see it so it's not just you guys that see it but it's also me because like the odd time that it does happen I I kind of it's kind of slow to happen so I'd rather see it and then be like oh that's awesome or whatever Cause like I know you can do it, I just don't know how. Like I know I can I can throw on the chat overlay like this and I can see everyone talking and like the recent events on the other thing, but yeah. Like I've tried searching it up, but I just I it's not what I want. But taking effective fire. <sighs> oh shotgun. Mm -hmm. ah. hey, hey, hey. I'm on vacation. Enemies inside the mm -hmm. Oh, and then something else, like something else that also motivated the shit out of me was so you know Preston, right? So his so Crystal's cousin, so Preston's mom's cousin. His name, I forget his YouTube channel, but he streams and he's on YouTube and he has like like half a million subscribers like he's got 500,000. He plays Rust and like he makes so much money and like he's so good at streaming like and like Rust and shit. Like he makes so much money off of it and he's like so huge. Like he even has his own like skin in game. Like that's how like big he is in that game. It's like um like Finn something and he's got like his own like dolphin mask because his mascots like or like his profile picture is like a dolphin and he's got like a dolphin like thing in game and that's just so sick like imagine having your own thing in a video game that'd be sick
Yeet. Hmm. Let's go. Oh my god. There we go. There's the dub. All right. Well, nice way to end off the stream. Thank you for watching and hanging out so much and talking, and it really means a lot. So, I really appreciate it. Well, you do have a good rest of your night, and thank you for coming out. Good night. So, thank you. Thank you.